Robots are now frequent members of China's production lines, for products ranging from consumer electronics and their semiconductors all the way up to automobiles. And the more important their applications, the higher the requirements for the robot developers. Chen Longqiao joined this Shanghai-based robotics developer five years ago, after he graduated from Hefei University. So far, he's worked on five types of controllers for robots. I'm very interested in industrial robotics. It's full of challenges and technologies. Just utilizing the basic knowledge I learned at college was far from enough. We have to conduct massive amounts of testing, verification, inference, and adjustments based on practical cases. And our competition is growing. We should constantly improve ourselves. I feel really good about myself when I tell people I'm in the robotics industry. Chen is just one of the 270 robotics engineering and technical specialists at the company, taking up almost 80 percent of the total employee numbers. With more than 800 partners in more than 20 countries and regions, the smart manufacturing and logistics robot developer constantly has a large demand for qualified tech professionals. There are no two identical industrial scenarios, and the, the so-called、uh, standard solutions、uh, in the factory are not existent、uh, either.、Uh, so, based on this, they will increase their uh, our uh, investment of R and D and expand the talent pool、uh, in both hardware and software,、uh, like the robotic control、uh, algorithm and the operation system, dispatching system, and the digital system. In June, the Ministry of Human Resources and Social Security formally recognized 18 new occupations, with robotics engineering technician being one. The profession is responsible for the research and development of robot control algorithms and operating systems. China has been the world's largest market for industrial robots for eight consecutive years. The output of the country's industrial robots hit a record high of 366,000 units in 2021. Up almost 68 percent from a year ago, during which the output of the country's service robots jumped almost 50 percent. In driving such rapid growth, the robot engineers and technical professionals have already played a major role. So, what's behind the official recognition of the position by the government now? The new occupation is a strong signal to encourage a new and long-term investment in robotics and advanced manufacturers. And to solve the talent supply demand mismatch on job market, so for the young student, industrial robotic occupation is clearly a new and also a sustainable career path for personal development. And for the manufacturing companies, the continuous talent supply is their concerns of attracting talents. Therefore, more companies will be confident to invest in advanced manufacturing system and upgrade digital technology. The Ministry of Industry and Information Technology says that during the current national five-year plan, the operating income of China's robotics industry between 2021 and 2025 is expected to grow at an average annual rate of 20 percent. Zhang Shixuan, Money Talks.